This here is a beautiful quartz crystal, and one of the reasons why I love teaching earth science, and that includes teaching minerals and geochemistry and elements and that basic intro into how chemical bonding works and elements and different kinds of bonds and how it translates into a physical object, a substance, a piece of matter in which the students can hold and visualize, feel and touch and really get to grips with what we're talking about in science. It's not abstract, it's in your face, it's right there. And one of these things is to bring in other areas of science, other disciplines and subjects like physics into the realm of earth science and mix it in with minerals and crystallography and how this plays an important part. And one thing is transparency. What is transparency and how does a certain mineral create a transparent effect? So transparency is the ability for light energy to pass straight through the object or substance or matter and see a clear picture, clear image on the other side of that substance. In this case, it is the quartz crystal. So you see there's there are inclusions within this quartz crystal, within this actual mineral. However, certain areas of the quartz is what's called rock crystal, which is perfectly transparent, which means that the silicon dioxide is pure with no impurities, no added elements into the matrix, and the repeated silicon dioxide chemical lattice or framework or bonding allows it to be completely transparent. It won't allow the energy to show up when it goes through and hits the bonds and the electrons within the chemical structure. There's not enough energy to produce any kind of visible light that is then refracted or scattered or dispersed within the actual quartz crystal. So it appears transparent. The light can go straight through it. So this is a beautiful part of mineralogy to teach about physics and light and energy wavelengths and what's inside the mineral to create this amazing effect.